नमस्ते एवरीवन वेलकम टू योगा विद मास्टर डी एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल दैट इज फर्स्ट एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू प्रैक्टिस इन दिस फाइव मिनट वी आर ट्राइंग टू डेवलप द स्ट्रेंथ इन अवर अपर बॉडी प्राइमरली ओके सो वी विल लर्न अ मूव विच कैन हेल्प यू अ लॉट टू डेवलप द स्ट्रेंथ दैट मूव्स कम विथ थ्री पोस्चर सो वी विल लर्न द थ्री पोस्चर फर्स्ट वन बाय वन एंड देन वी विल लर्न द मूवमेंट लेस स्टार्ट सो कम हेयर ले डाउन फर्स्ट हेयर we lay down with the body completely on the ground legs slightly apart okay and palm next to your chest so once you place your palm next to the chest keep your elbow inside look down and try to lift your body all the way up this is called plank pose okay ab generally we do plank pose with the feet together but here we are doing with the apart okay right now okay you can do with the feet together fine very good one press your palm properly fingers separate very good try to lift your shoulder the more higher you can very good engage your lower belly 2 3 4 5 okay lower the body down lay down okay this is our first movement okay which is very important to learn second movement is the second posture which is chaturanga okay we going to lay down here and place the palm next to the body bend the arms here and we going to just lift this much only one two keep your elbow next to your body three four five down very good so this is our second movement okay this is a bit hard one okay i will teach you how to how you can improve this movement okay and the third move is this from here tuck your toes very good come to chaturanga all the way up and then go back all the way this is called downward facing dog which is a very good posture for stretching as well but also if you using the strength nicely pressing your palm properly so it will also develop somehow the strength around the shoulder and the collarbone region 1 2 3 4 five okay drop the knees down very good so these are our three movement okay ab now we will make a drill okay out of these three movement which will help you to double of your practice but if you cannot do chaturanga which is a hard move so what you can do is you can place this two block here <laughs> very good here okay and then you can place your palm behind this you can check like this way okay is it okay comfortable so make sure you're not dancing here okay it can be on the shoulder nicely and then come back to your this position okay <laughs> downward facing dog so inhale move your shoulder forward exhale lower the body chaturanga inhale plank pose exhale go back inhale plank pose exhale chaturanga inhale plank pose exhale downward facing dog inhale plank pose exhale chaturanga inhale plank pose exhale downward dog two more time inhale plank pose exhale chaturanga inhale plank pose exhale downward dog two more time one inhale plank pose exhale chaturanga inhale plank pose exhale downward dog last time inhale plank pose exhale chaturanga inhale plank pose exhale downward dog okay drop the knees down so this is the first step when you are standing the block like this way okay second step is you can place the block like this way so right now this block is a bit more downwards okay if you come to the chaturanga okay try to hold by yourself don't touch the block but if you cannot hold then you can touch the block that is absolutely fine nothing going to happen that is good choice okay so this is second so relax you can extend your arm forward finger lock very good make a fist roll the fist 1 2 3 4 3 2 1 1 very good drop the palm down stretch the back of the wrist 1 2 3 Four, five. Okay, now again, place the palm behind the block. Very good. All the way. Go back. Okay. If you have a block here, first you can lay down, and then you can check. Okay, so your shoulder can come to the block. Palm is next to the chest. Okay, here. And take your toes. Lift your body up. Go back. Easily come to the downward facing dog. Inhale forward, plank pose. Lower the body, chaturanga. Don't touch. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, go back. One. Inhale, plank pose. exhale chaturanga try to breathe inhale plank pose exhale go back two inhale plank pose exhale chaturanga inhale plank pose exhale back three inhale plank pose 
Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Four. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now drop the knees down. Five. So this is lovely. If you are the one who did not touch the block and who can do this move nicely, means you got a good strength around your body. <laughs> but it's still, if you think this is not enough, and you want to go one level more up. So I have a pro tip for you. Let's follow. OK, now this time what we are going to do is do this plank pose, OK? And we will try to bring the body down slowly, 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 and touch on the ground, but within a 10 count. So one count, one inch down, two count, two inch down, OK? This way we will go all the way down, and the same way with the counting will come up, OK? And that is the last things. Those who cannot do this, so they will go with the block, OK? Here. <laughs> come to the plank pose, where you're going to open the legs slightly here, OK? So move the shoulder forward a bit. Inhale, exhale, one. Control, two, three, four, five, chaturanga, six, seven, eight, nine, touch, ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And go back. Drop the knees down and relax. Try it. Enjoy this and let me know in the comment how you feel about this five to ten minutes. Okay, you can repeat the plank pose chaturanga two, three times. That will be a great choice. Okay, downward dog three times. Okay, and then do these three sets. And this much is good workout or good practice in yoga for your developing your arm strength, your upper body strength for your palm balance. I hope you enjoy it. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe with your friends. Thank you very much. This is D. I see you again. Bye-bye.